Good morning and welcome back to Community Couch Time. I'm Ms. Guadalupe Carrasco Cardona and I'm going to come to you daily with topics that we should be talking about, things that are happening globally, things that are happening nationally, things that are happening in our community, but most importantly, things that we oftentimes don't talk about and the question is, why shouldn't we? And um, the thing that's really amazing is that um, we get to share our perspectives with another amazing human being, Ms. Tiffany Wallace. Good morning, great minds and good people. I'm Miss Tiffany Wallace, and thank you for having me for Community Couch Time. Now, let's start the discourse. Good morning, welcome back to Community Couch Time. How are you, Miss Wallace? I'm doing great, Miss Cardona. It's getting chilly right now. It's getting chilly. It was really cool to uh, log on to Zoom and see that we we're both <laughs> wearing scarves today. <laughs> the scarf crew, that's right. A nice yeah. warm cup of <laughs> tea that I have. And coffee. I have my, my cafecito. <laughs> That's my, my drink of choice. So I like tea too. I, I drink tea as well. We make ginger tea here at our house. We mm -hmm. cut up the fresh ginger and, and my, um, the kids love it uh, a lot. Like they drink a lot of ginger tea, which is good because it's good for you. I love ginger. I love ginger tea. Mm -hmm. I love eating ginger. Um, there's like candy crystallized ginger. Oh yeah. And I like to have that. Um, ginger is really good for your tummy and digestion. For mine, maybe other people have different, you know, things that help them. But yeah. I know that like whenever I'm like, I'm mm, not really feeling so great, have some ginger. And I'm like, okay, all right, I can do this. Yeah, it's good for, for nausea too. Like I know when I was pregnant, I would um, chew on a lot of ginger and it would help with with the nausea, which is horrific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just love these, um, these traditions that we have been sharing with one another. And this is totally like the season of traditions. And so I don't know, I just wanted to have a little convo about like some of the traditions that that you hold dear to you and how they're changing for this season. Because as you know, like the COVID-19 cases in the LA area are on the rise. And um, you know, what are we going to do to sort of um, protect ourselves, but at the same time, you know, um, be true to some of the traditions that, that we hold dear and close to our hearts? That's such a great question, Ms. Cardona, because um, my family actually does have traditions, particularly the women in our family um, during like the autumn Thanksgiving season. Um, in terms of Thanksgiving, it's not really a holiday that I feel like a particular celebration towards because knowing the history behind, um, you know, the violence towards indigenous people in the Americas yeah. um, and towards black people and towards a lot of people during that time, it, it doesn't, you know, that doesn't make me want to celebrate. What does make me want to celebrate is being thankful. Yes. Being thankful for my family my friends and people in my life. And what we used to do is because during that time, the women would be cooking and cleaning and like shopping and kind of mad because they'd be doing all this work so tired. And then you finally get to eat and it's like, just it can't even enjoy. Right. Or, you know, with being mad at other family members because, um, you know, other things aren't, they're not doing as much. They didn't clean, they didn't cook. And yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. right. Like I it's a <laughs> cause of frustration. Yeah, it it's a lot of work. It is it's a lot. a lot of work. To put on like, a like that. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. shopping, the paying, the cooking, yeah. the cleaning, oh. getting everyone together. It's yeah. too much. So we decided to go to this restaurant, restaurant, and it had a buffet, like a really nice buffet. And so we would save to go because it was like kind of on the expensive side. Yeah. So, but we would plan to save to go. And it was cheaper than, you know, cooking. Wouldn't have leftovers. But all like the women in my family, my mom, my aunt, sister, you know, if we had partners at the time, um, we would all go together and it would be very relaxing for them. Mm -hmm. And it made me really happy to do that because now it's like the women in our family are having to stress and like worry and feel like people don't care because they're doing more work than other people are doing. So now we can't go to the buffet yep. because of, you know, COVID-19 and it's very serious. 
So I've already planned um, to get some Boston Market because I love their their chicken um, <laughs> and, you know, other things. And so I've already planned like how much I'm going to save, how much it's going to cost, um, other relatives pitching in, and I'm going to get a meal for my aunt and deliver that to her and make sure that I'm clean, sanitized. I'm going to bring that over to her, um, you know, and my mom, she's no longer with us, but I'm very glad that her last Thanksgiving was, you know, really nice. Her autumn celebration was like enjoyable and peaceful, but I'm going to bring it to my aunt and um, then my house, just my household, yeah. we're going to eat here and just have it safe that way. And we share gratitudes every tradition, every, every year we share what we're grateful for. So I'm grateful for the time off. Yeah. I'm grateful to spend time with family. So yeah. My plan. What do you, what are, what are your traditions? Well, okay. So for the week of um, Thanksgiving, I'm very grateful to have that week off. And so um, we're actually going to spend um, several of those days on the road we have been collecting money and um, donations, food donations and cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer, masks and things like that for the Navajo reservation. Um, the Navajo res has been hit extremely hard by COVID-19. And as you all know, like the winter is really, um, you know, deadly for um, COVID-19. It really like transfers a lot. And the res has, has, um, has caught, you know, a large amount of cases of COVID-19. And so we're gonna go over there, we're gonna drop off, um, you know, foods, all the foods we've collected. We're still collecting, we're gonna be collecting for the next two weeks. Um, and just so that they can stay home and not, you know, have to leave to the store as often and, um, you know, really protect themselves. Like we, we know quite a few people um, that have been lost, uh, Dinef people. Um, so that's what we're doing for that. Um, but our usual traditions are, you know, um, the you know the usual like everyone comes over we all we all sort of like potluck it right so it, it's it's really kind of cool because um it's very like like mixed so you've got like the you know like the turkey and the stuffing and all of that but you also have like the tamales and the like the rice and the salsa so we have like a really like um cool mix of all the different foods but of course this year we're not going to do that because it's not safe to do that and um one of the things that we decided to do as part of um, one of the, the teacher um, activist organizations that I belong to, the Association of Raza Educators, um, we have a tradition where every year we get together and we've, we've um, raised money all year long. So we usually pay for like, you know, whoever um, of our members shows up to a restaurant, um, you know, for them to be able to eat a nice meal. Not gonna do that this year. So this is the cool thing that we decided to do. We're going to, um, we're going to meet on Zoom, but every member that is, you know, a longstanding member of our org is going to get a Postmates card um, to be able to order food so they don't have to make food. And then we're going to play games and just, you know, try to be festive, have music and everything. Um, and then we're just going to suggest um, that they use the card for um, local businesses. So we yeah. really want to support like local businesses. And Postmates, it's really cool because you can actually um, click on, they have it already like curated for you to support either black owned businesses or local yeah. owned businesses. And so we're gonna suggest, of course, we don't, you know, we're not gonna tell people what they have to order, but we're gonna give them the money and we're gonna suggest that they do support local. Um, so that's that's what we're doing. Um, I'm excited, you know, for, for the opportunity to be able to be festive with people that I care about um, and, um, and be safe, right? Cause I, it would be horrific if like all these amazing people um, caught COVID at the same time. And, you know, and these are teachers from throughout the, you know, greater LA area who are, you know, ethnic studies champions and, um, and folks like that. So it'd be really like sad <laughs> if, if yeah, we got no, <laughs> we're preventing that. We're preventing yeah, that. We're not, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> like, yeah. no, no, no. No. Um, an incentive to be safe okay exactly. and do it that way and yeah that's so I, I love to hear that yeah it was hard because we you know we miss each other we've been doing zoom meetings for like 10 months now so it was, it was hard mm -hmm. um you know um 
I wanted to mention one thing for folks out there, the district is providing meals mm -hmm. right now. They're still providing meals. And I got a phone call and they were talking about how they had like some kind of rosemary chicken, Ooh. some other like delicious sounding meal yeah. on my voicemail. Yeah. And so, you know, I really want to just encourage folks yes. and I myself, I need to wake up early so I can go check it out because yeah. they're providing meals. They provide food. You just have yeah. to look up online um, and go to, you know, LAUSD.net put in your location was closest to you and go get food for yourself as well for your family. Yeah, no questions asked. They don't ask for IDs. Yeah, you don't have to be a student um, and you just tell them how many people are in your family. And they've even received donations from like C's Candies and other um, companies. So it's not, it's not just your typical like, you know, LAUSD food. It's also like you're saying like rosemary chicken, like how awesome is that? So. For Community Couch Time Daily Journal question, what is a tradition that you are used to celebrating around this time of the year and how are you going to adjust it for, you know, just COVID and just being safe and staying healthy and staying alive? Thank you. Thanks. And look at